This is my Dell Inspiron 3847, and this is a generic uh, uh, computer case that I like. It has a lot of options up front compared to the 3847. The problem, I've already moved the motherboard over. The problem I'm facing is the Dell comes with this adapter, uh, connector for the front panel. You can probably see it right there. Here's the connector for the front panel. And this is the uh, one... These are the connectors from my generic case. So I got the uh, power switch, power LED, hard drive LED, and uh, reset switch. Okay. Now the Dell, it's something different, right? So I, I kind of did a breakdown by following the wires on this guy, and it looks like it looks like the blue and the brown are the power button. The hard drive is the red and the white, and the LED, the power on LED is yellow and black. Now, for some reason, it looks like on this, they have this connector where the blue wire is jumped from here to here to here to here, uh, and that's how it has to go back on the motherboard. Now, I can cut this all off and cut these, and I don't really want to do all that. So I'm going to find a way to uh, get this to work on that motherboard, uh, this group of wires, okay? If it comes to it, we'll have to cut all these wires off and just reuse this header. Okay? All right, so let's get to it. Look what I found in the project bin. A long time ago, I was doing something else, and I bought these things off of eBay. So uh, this is going to be interesting, huh? All right, so it looks like these will plug into these yeah, just fine. Yeah, they will plug in. All right, so I'm going to use that to jury rig what I think needs to happen. All right, I made this video to help those out who are trying to put a uh, Inspiron 3847 motherboard, uh, that's the Dell Inspiron 3847 motherboard, in a regular computer case, or a generic computer case. So what I figured out is um, looking at the, if you got the motherboard in there with the CMOS battery down here, and the uh, SATA connectors down here, that's the orientation. This is how it is. You're looking down onto the motherboard. Uh, let's say it start with the right side. The, uh, the for top two, the pin number one from the top, the second one down, that's your power LED. All right. And then the third one down is the power switch. And then no connection and the key and no connection. All right. Now on the left side, you got the, 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 the pin one. And pin two are your hard drive LEDs. Now here's where it gets tricky. Okay, it's pin three on the left side. Pin three, five, and six all tie together and go to your uh, power switch uh, wire on the other side. So actually, number three is your power switch, but this side gets three wires. And there's no connection on the left side, number four. Okay, let me show you that. Okay, so. Let me just dis disconnect these one at a time to show you. Okay, so let's just connect the hard drive. That's this guy right here, the top left, top two. That's this hard drive, and that's the way I got it. So you can see that it says hard drive right there. Okay, now these two I had to make an adapter for because the uh, the, the generic case uh, has this, but the wires are really close together, and, and I just got these little thing, uh, little extenders. Okay, so they're right side by side. So you pull these two out. They're side by side, but I got these so I could put it in there. I guess I could uh, get in here and change this around, but I'm not doing that. Okay, so I'm going to get that out of the way. Now for the special adapter that I made for the power switch. So you can see this guy says power switch on it, right? Now the white wire stays white. It goes to pin 3 on the right side. Okay, from the top down, pin three on the right side. Now these four bluish looking wires, they all splice together under here and they come out as one blue. So you got the white on one side and the blue on the other side and you just plug that into your power switch and I went white to white and blue to blue, right? So it doesn't matter. So, okay, there you go. So if you don't do it that way, the motherboard won't post, okay? You also make sure you plug your fans in because it'll get stuck in the BIOS. I did not have problems like the other people where it didn't boot because the, the fan was... Oh, I had the right fan, I guess. I got lucky. All right. So there you have it. I, I guess I can put it all back together while you watch. All right. So this... That'll be pin three, actually, right there. Okay. Get my hard drive. 
put that back in there, and then my two power ones. I might modify these. All right, I have the green one on top, and I guess I should have done the second one first. Yeah, let me get the second one in there, and then the top one in there. All right, and that should take care of it right there, and that's how you wire it up. All right, so I hope this helps you out. Once more, I'll show you the diagram. There's what I used, so hope this helps you out because uh, it took me what turned out what was supposed to be like a half hour project wound up being five hours. So this is the end of five hours worth of work, and hope it helps you out. Well, since we already did the five hours, what's a couple more minutes, right? Okay, so it looks like I got it the uh, the green to the green and the red to the white. And it looks like if I were to plug this in, the green would be on top, so I'd have to flip it this way. That means the white has got to move over so I could use the original connector. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull these guys out. So basically, you want to get this in here. Okay, I'm going to lift up on that little tab and pull gently on the white wire. There we go. And put the white wire back where it belongs. Now we got to move the green one. I'm going to jam this in here, lift up on that, pull the green one out, move it over. Okay, and then we just slide her back in. Okay, and now the green one should be on top. It's going to hang off because, you know, you can see that how it's going to be a little bit off of there. But the good thing is I'm going to swing around here. I'm laying on the floor, so, okay, you can see the light just came on, right? All right, that looks good. All right, so there you have it.